guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a very weathered rustic look on a sideboard. Just imagine an abandoned building and something that's been stood there for a while with full of character, full of texture and full of you know just interesting things going on. So here I have a custom made black paint that I made myself but you can get caviar from Dixie Belle which is pretty much the same colour. Um, I'm applying it with a chippy brush and I'm just applying it left and right, uh, brush strokes and just to the bottom half of this piece. Um, you don't need to be exact here with brush strokes, we're just building up some texture and some... Here I'm grabbing some Savannah Mist which is like a grey blue and I'm pouring it into a pot and mixing with just some ordinary table salt. Um, I'm applying a little bit of water just to make sure I can get the paint moving and again I'm just applying this to the top of the piece and using a chippy brush and using left, right, up and down brush strokes um, and slightly blending it into the black paint. Uh, again not too worried about perfect blending here at the moment because this is just the base layer and we're just going to add some detail to this that we can later build on. Um, the salt also will just create some cool texture um, just to make it just to give it that extra weathered feel. Now I'm coming in with my black paint again and I am just going to blend this slightly into the grey. Um, but um, but we're not going to be perfect about it. I just want to make sure um, that some of the thick line that I had before is minimised and I just want to soften that. Okay, moving on to the next thing. Here I have um, two parts muscadine wine to one part chocolate. I've made it really gloopy by mixing this with table salt. I've got an old chippy brush and I am literally just pushing this into the sideboard. I'm mainly focusing on the bottom of the sideboard, but I'm also going to bring it up into some random areas too, just for that extra bit of character. While this is still wet, I am now coming in with a 50-50 mixture of honky tonk red to water and applying that just randomly all over the sideboard, leaving some gaps. And then I'm just grabbing some kitchen towel as you can see here and pr pressing it on. And this technique is called ragging and this will give the desired stone effect that I'm looking for. At the moment this is still base layers, we're still building up layers and it's just going to look a little bit crazy. Um, but. We'll get there eventually and I'm not too worried at the moment about the overall look because I know I'm going to be adding extra colours onto this. So the sideboard is now completely dry and we're going to move on to the next step. Um, as you can see it's still looking a little crazy but now we're going to start bringing this piece together. It's not going to be perfect, it's going to be a very perfectly imperfect piece. Here I'm using the Bell Brush by Dixie Bell and I've got three colours that complement each other really well which are Barn Red, Rusty Nail and Burlap. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the same brush for this whole piece now and I'm going to press some of the rusty nail in followed by some of the barn red and then the burlap and each colour is going to have its own little area um, which is then going to be blended into the other colours if that makes sense. So just have a play around here, the point is for this to look really sun washed and, and I guess a little bit damaged as well and as I say just completely rustic and imperfect. Um, so just keep dabbing in those colours, uh, softly blend those edges out with the other colour 
and it will just create this really beautiful stone washed kind of look. Don't worry about remembering all of the colours because they're all added in the description box below. Um, so all of, the, all of the products that you need to get this look is listed below. This look will be continued on all across of the sideboard but for the purpose of this video I'll just show you the one door but the entire sideboard is going to be painted like this now. Next up is the Bronze Patina by Dixie Belle and I've just got an applicator sponge but you can really use any sponge, it doesn't really matter and I'm just going to apply this randomly to the bottom half of this piece. When you're applying the bronze, uh, don't apply it perfectly and make sure that you leave some gaps because we will be creating a rust from this and when you think about rust it never looks perfect. I'm now applying a vinegar solution I created myself with water, white vinegar and a tiny bit of antebellum blue and this is going to react with the salt. So now I've got my putty knife and I'm just going to start scraping some of the bronze from the top. Again not being perfect, it's, got, it's meant to look very rustic and natural and random. And then I'll get my vinegar solution and give that another spritz. So the vinegar solution will react with the salt underneath and will cause it to rust because unfortunately we can't get the patina spray here in the UK but if you're in the States you can spray the patina spray straight onto the bronze and it will create a very cool uh, rustic natural looking rust. So you'll see here in a moment that um, I'm spraying and there are lots of drips and it's up to you whether you want to keep those drips. I decided I wanted to but if you don't then just grab your sponge, um, a clean part of the sponge and just dab it away and that will remove the drips. Now grab some really fine grit sandpaper and some really hard grit. Use the fine grit for the body of the piece just to smooth out any rough edges and use the hard grit for the where the salt and things have been just to smooth that out uh, and then I am using some big mama's butter and just applying a clear layer of wax across the piece followed by some dark wax um, I'm using the bell brush to tap that in so this is actually black wax that I'm using from the best Ang wax collection at the moment uh, and I'm just blending that in around the edges and then I will be using my clear wax brush just to blend some of that in uh, just to soften that up and then lastly in a moment I will be getting my brown wax and applying that into uh, the middle parts of the door and this is just going to make the piece look even more aged and rustic uh, and will give it a really natural weathered look. If you enjoyed this video today and you would like to see more tutorials then please don't forget to like the video, leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.